Hello, N4H&H here. Uh, what I'm about to show you with this FTDX5000 could be done on other dual receive radios. Uh, now, it, ha it would have to be one only because of exactly what I'm going to show you. It would have to be a dual receive radio that can uh, simultaneously receive on two different bands. But uh, that's just because of the scenario I am going to show you for mine. So, FTDX5000 from Yesu. Simultaneous dual receive. I'm listening to my buddies on 3856. Okay, but I would also like to listen to see if another uh, friend over on a different frequency, in fact, on a different band, if he pops in so I can say good morning to him. So I'm going to uh, look over here at this VFO. Now I'm going to press this button here. For those of you who have a 5000, it makes this knob become the VFO for receiver 2. So I'm at, I'm centered up on 7150. <clears throat> Let me brighten up the display for you. All right. So I'm centered up on 7150. And now I'm going to uh, long press this button here. Just because I like to leave it on memory channel mode. That's the only reason, but also I don't want to accidentally move that. All right, so now I'm going to press this little button here to the left, the RX button. It turns green. And I'm now simultaneously listening to 7150. And I'm going to reach over here <coughs> to the VFOB squelch. And squelch out that noise, receiver noise. So now I won't hear a thing from receiver B until someone transmits over there, perhaps Billy. And there's Jack from the 3856 group. Nice group of uh, people there, usually in the mornings, not a net. They meet casually, no set time, just... Sometimes in the uh, in the morning, sometimes around 8 o'clock, sometimes 8.15, 8.30, 9, 9.30. Uh, and they'll usually chat up till 11 or noon. So I can listen to them while I wait if my friend Billy is going to pop up over there on 7150. Now, another application of that would be that maybe you have a SCAD with someone. So you put that frequency in VFOB and then you can go tune around and work some other folks while you wait on your uh, other station that you have a schedule with to uh, to come in and so and then once they do if you don't want to just press this button here let me pan over a little bit if you don't want to just press this button and start using VFOB for even for transmit then you can you've got this button here See, now I've put Jack over here on VFOB, yeah, that, uh, and I've got 7150 in VFOA. So this button here that just, uh, it's got the two arrows pointing opposite, just reverses which VFO those frequencies and bands and or, uh, modes and all that are assigned to. So just a quick little tip there on the uh, dual receive. Of course, I have shown you also with dual receive, uh, there's other videos in the playlist for the FTDX 5000 that show how to use a separate antenna on each receiver and uh, use it for something called diversity receive. That could be done with, a, you know, maybe a horizontal antenna on one, a vertical on the other, two horizontals that are perpendicular. And it allows you to, um, well, go back and watch that video, but I'll just tell you the skinny of it is this... <laughs> For those of you in, who are watching internationally, you probably don't know what I mean by skinny. Uh, the straight scoop, how about that? When you are listening to someone on an antenna and they start fading, they may be coming up on a different antenna. So if you um, have two antennas and both receivers are tuned to the same frequency, I've literally worn my headphones and I've heard someone's voice change from the left speaker to the right speaker, right speaker to left speaker. Uh, because one antenna was picking them up better uh, at one point and another one on, at another point. So, you know, when people fade with QSB, having dual receive can also combat that. 
Of course, I have an antenna switch within arm's reach, so I can keep it uh, without having dual receive. I can just quickly switch over to the other antenna, of course. But with, uh, with dual receive and multiple antenna ports, you can assign, like in this radio, I could assign VFOB right here. Let me switch over to the B. There we go. Antenna selection. I could assign VFOB to uh, port 2, 3, or 4 in the back of the radio. So if I'm going to use two separate antennas, I would want to do something like that. So again, there's a whole video about diversity receive, but I'm just going to give that an honorable mention since I'm talking about dual receive. Okay, hey, I hope you found the video helpful and informative. Um, I want to shout out and thank the Patreon support team who helped bring these videos to you. Otherwise, I wouldn't be able to justify the time to do it. If you would like to join that team, if you like this type of content, go to www.patreon.com forward slash N4HNH. I'll put that at the bottom of the screen. And uh, we'd welcome you to join. There are three different levels of participation there with perks for the executive and VIP levels. All right. And please do me a favor. Click that like, you know, the, the thumbs up button that helps us out with the YouTube search algorithm. Consider subscribing to the channel. Um, and if you do subscribe, be sure to click that notification bell so you'll be notified when I upload the next video. All right, again, thanks for watching 73 from N4 H&H.